We're so thankful to have your knowledge as a physician and as also as someone who understands as a parent what's happening. You know, just to let you know, we physicians are not taught that much about this area. Like, I didn't even know anything about sensory integration, OT. It's all what I learned from autism and from you. Yeah. Well, but you understand the brain like is an organ Yeah, that has processing skills. You understand there's a science. All I knew, OT, was upper body until, like, Abed did sensory integration. And I was like, wow, yes. OT is all that? Yeah, a lot. <clears throat> Most people don't quite understand that OT is also a broad field, but can be specialized in developmental approaches to all those eight sensory systems and how you improve the input of the eight systems. You improve the connection between the systems, and then those systems help us build higher level skills. Most people don't understand that phonics programs for reading just go straight to letters and sounds, but that's not where reading starts. Reading starts with spoken language skills, which has nothing to do with letters. And so really? phonics programs are only going to help a little bit of the language system because <clears throat> everyone talks about how many learning disabilities are language-based learning difficulties. And if mm -hmm. it's a language-based learning difficulty, then it comes back to being a sensory motor-based learning difficulty because language is sensory motor. Language is part visual. Baby watches you speak. We know right. from a laser eye tracking study, Aisha, that at eight months of age, about 70% of babies are watching mom and dad's lips move. Mm -hmm. Eight months. Most babies don't speak until a year old. But for the really? eight months to 12 months, they're watching your lips and they start to babble more. They start to try to do what they see you doing. So it's part visual, but it's also part oral tactile, which is touch of the teeth and lips and oral kinesthetic, how you move them. Cause they're trying to get their mouth to do what they see your mouth do. And then the acoustic, they hear what you're saying too. And that's why parents get down mm -hmm. in their face of the child and they go say mama. And then dad's like, no, 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 say dad, dad. And they don't know why are they moking their mouth so big? Why are they moving their mouth so big? It's because you're trying uh -huh. to teach the child all the parts of the mouth, how to move them, where to move them. And that begins to build that speech processor, which is a sensory mm -hmm. motor system. Right. And that's what Abed is doing now, looking at the pictures and putting the words yes. together. And so far, he has learned 31 of the 39 sounds that we need in our language from just the sound structure of language, all the vowel sounds, all the consonant sounds. And he's actually already now able to put two pictures of the mouth together to blend sounds. He's, mm -hmm. he's able to, to hear a word and figure out what was the first sound of the word, what was the second sound of the word. So he's able to split the word apart and figure out the number of sounds, the order of the sounds, and are they the same or the difference? Learn more about our evidence-based dyslexia program proven to be effective in three research studies. Visit our websites or contact us today.